Hey everyone, so today I'm excited to show you how to whip up this awesome 5-in-1 layout for your Instagram Reels. It's such a nifty trick for making the most out of your horizontal footage, stuff that wouldn't typically fit in your vertical crop. We'll be diving into Premiere Pro for this tutorial, but don't worry, if you're more of a DaVinci or Final Cut person, you can totally apply the same method across different editing softwares. Let's get started. Alright, let's dive into Premiere Pro and set things up. First off, we'll create a new project file. Once that's done, we need to set up two sequences. The first one will be our master project sequence, where we'll compile everything for our Instagram Reels. The second sequence is where we'll work on cropping our footage to correctly fit five clips into the master project. Here's how to do it. Go to File, New, Sequence. I've already got a preset for this, but let me walk you through the settings. For the master project sequence, time base 23.976 frames, frame size 1080 by 1920, a 9x16 crop vertical ratio. Pixel aspect ratio, square pixels, fields, no fields, progressive scan, color space, rec 709. You can save these settings as a preset if you want, but since I've already done that, let's name this sequence Master Project for clarity. Now let's create another sequence, and we'll use the same preset. Keep all the settings the same except for one thing, the frame size for vertical. Here's the trick. We need to divide 1920 by how many clips we want to fit inside our master project. Since we're aiming for five clips in the sequence, just type 1920 forward slash five, and Premiere Pro will do the math automatically for you. And that's it. We're all set up and ready to start crafting our awesome five-in-one layout. Let's keep the creativity flowing. If you're aiming for a different number of clips in your master project, the process remains pretty straightforward. So say you want to fit three, two, or four clips instead of five. It's as simple as adjusting that division we did. Instead of forward slash five, you'll change the last number to your desired number of clips. For example, if you wanted three clips, it will be forward slash three. For two clips, it will be forward slash two, and for four clips, it will be forward slash four, and so on. It's a versatile method that adapts easily to your creative vision. Hope that clears things up. All right, so now we've got this new sequence tailored specifically for a five piece layout. I'm planning to use some shots here from a short film I made. It would make my day if you can go and give that a little watch. I'll include the link to the video at the end of this tutorial. Thanks a bunch in advance. All right, now that our five shots are snugly fitted into the five piece sequence, it's time to nest each individual clip. By nesting them, we'll be able to crop the images accordingly and ensure they're saved properly. Remember, nest each clip individually. Don't bundle them up in one big file. Once that's done, we'll copy and paste each nested clip into the master project. But hold on, they're not fitting properly yet. So we'll need to adjust them manually until they look just right. And there we go, that seems to be in place now. Now, if you're looking to save time and avoid the hassle, I've got you covered. I've created an animated stack pack available on my website. It is perfect for showcasing before and after videos of your color grades or highlighting your favorite shots from your projects. The best part, it's all done in Adobe Premiere Pro with just a few clicks. You can use these templates over and over again, making your workflow super efficient. Simply drag and drop the pack files into your central graphics tab in Premiere Pro and you're good to go. The best part, we've got variety covered with 10 different templates available. Whether you're working on vertical, portrait or standard 60x9 projects, we've got you covered. So no matter what format you're working with, you'll find a template that fits just right. The link is in the description below for you. Happy editing. And just as a little thank you for supporting me, use the code SAVE25 to save yourself 25%. All right, there you have it. Looking pretty cool, right? Now to get this ready for exporting, let's hit Control M. My go-to format is always H.264. Don't forget to adjust the resolution to 1080p by 1920. That is crucial for getting your reels onto your phone smoothly. Okay, now make sure you've checked render at maximum depth and use maximum render quality for optional results. Scroll down to the bitrate settings. Personally, I prefer exporting VBR1 pass. It's quick and gets the job done. I usually set my target bitrate around 20 or 25. And there you have it. Those are my go-to export settings. Thanks a bunch for tuning in, folks. Until next time, take care and catch you in the next one.